Hey guys, today we're going to be continuing on the Quick Start Guides series for new and intermediate players to fill out your roster pool if you're a returning player or a new player. I'm going over all the 2,000 gold heroes in the game and talking about a build that's very effective uh, for just about any rank or any play style. I generally go for a little bit of an easier build rather than the meta build, but in this particular case it's going to be very close to the meta build. So uh, we'll get right into it. Gazlo is the the only 2,000 gold bruiser in the game, so you may want to fill out your roster with some other heroes, but Gazzle's actually in a great spot right now. There are multiple builds, and there are a lot of effectiveness that you can do with those builds, and you can add a lot of impact to your games. With that in mind, let's talk a little bit about what Gazlo's abilities are and what they do. The first ability is called Rocket Turret. Rocket Turret creates a turret that will stay out on the map for 15 seconds. You can see the bottom bar is the timer for how long it's out, and then it also has its own health bar, starting off with uh, 1,355 health. That is quite a bit lower than, uh, or sorry, at level 20, it's 1,300 health, uh, which is about a fifth of your health. So that is the basic idea of Rocket Turret. Now it does 83 damage per attack and it attacks once per second. So each one is going to add 83 DPS. You can place a Rocket Turret for four scrap and you regen one scrap every four seconds. Destroying a Rocket Turret or a destroyed Rocket Turret will drop scrap, which will, you can then pick up to replenish your scrap. Um, so over time you're gaining scrap and you also gain back one fourth of the scrap by simply um, picking up the scrap after stepping over a destroyed turret. You can destroy your own turret by using the Reduce, Reuse, Recycle, and then you can also pick up that scrap from it. W, uh, your Death Laser is your second ability. Um, after 0.65 seconds, you are going to fire off a laser, dealing 390 damage, and you're going to heal for 25% of the damage dealt, increased to 75% against heroes. So on a wave of minions, let's take a little bit of damage. You can see how much you can heal off of a wave of minions. And uh, again, he's a bruiser. He can take a lot of shots. These towers do a decent amount of damage. And uh, now remember, this is level 20, so keep that in mind. Um, if you hit just a hero, you can gain back... I just actually hit one minion there. Um, but if you hit just a hero, you can gain back a decent amount. I'm going to try to not hit the hero here. So you can see... Um, or I'll hit the hero, but you can see it's a decent chunk of healing. It's not great, but it's also not terrible. Uh, and then finally, your last ability is called Explodium Charge. You place a bomb that stuns and deals a decent amount of damage after 1.25 seconds. It counts down with a little timer on the indicator, so you can see there... Well, I, I placed it on on him. You can see that there is a little bit of a countdown timer. It does go 3, 2, 1, but it doesn't go on seconds. It's just like very quickly... Um, and you can see that it does stun for a decent amount of time, so it's a rather valuable tool. So, early game, um, you're generally just going to be placing down a turret or two to control the zone a little bit, and then if the enemy makes a mistake, you're going to try to throw out a stun, and then time your laser to do damage as they're stunned. You're going to want to pick up your scraps so that you can reposition and go from there. Using your W on the wave to gain the most amount of health if you don't land a stun. So you W the wave, get a chunk of your health back, drop down a couple of these, and potentially go for a bomb into a laser combo. Um, a couple turrets can go a long way. Uh, naturally, you'll only be able to have out about three turrets at a time um, in the early game. So let's talk a little bit about the potential talents you could take to make Gazlo go a little bit further in your games. On level 1, uh, most people have found the most success out of Big Game Hunter. It did get nerfed a little bit, but it's still rather strong. It increases the maximum scrap by 2, which means instead of initially placing down 2 turrets, you can initially place down 3. Basic attacks against enemy heroes, mercenaries, or monsters, uh, meaning heroes but not minions, uh, you can do the mercenaries here or monsters, which are any objective-based um, thing on maps, you can get scrap. Um, and so each one is going to increase your scrap regen by 1.5 seconds. Keep in mind that every four seconds, you're going to get a scrap. So two basic attacks, you'll pretty much get one scrap. Um, so every two basic attacks, you'll be able to get a scrap from Big Game Hunter. 
that's usually the first talent that's being picked. As the, you hit level two, there are two, or level four, there are two different talents that are being picked quite a bit. Um, if you're willing to place down your turrets one by one, Rocket Socket is very powerful at getting constant shields and constantly bringing out more of your turrets because you continuously basic attack and continuously have your shield. Otherwise, Hyper Focus Coils is a little bit better if you're someone who likes to just place all three turrets and kind of forget about them. Hyper Focus Coils is a little bit better. Um, and for new players, it may be a little bit better. It allows you to heal a little bit more on your W, and it allows you to heal off of your stuns as well. But I'll give you kind of an idea of what Rocket Socket's going to look like. Because you get to place a turret, I'm losing some health, I place another turret, and you can just watch how I'm continuously getting turrets and shields off. By just taking those two talents. Now we have four turrets out. And worst case we can gain back a lot of our life off of the waves. So you can kind of see how powerful this build gets in that 1v1 situation. Um, now we get to level 7. I almost always recommend having two charges of your W. Allows for more healing as well as it allows for more combos. I'll talk about the combos when we get to later levels. Level 10, I almost always recommend Gravel Bomb. It's the main way that you can make a difference in team fights, and you're already pretty strong in the 1v1 situation. So now you're strong in 1v1s and in team fights. Level 13, I recommend Superior Schematics. The other two talents are very good, but this talent is just a little bit above in every build that you would be playing. It allows your turrets to attack multiple enemies and have longer range, and the longer range is actually pretty significant. If you were to remove Arthas, you have about the range of a turret, uh, as you can place your turret at the max range, and it actually outranges a lot of the turrets. So if I was to clear up this wave rather quickly, you can see that it will shoot at the turret before the turret can shoot at it, as long as you place it at the max range. And so that's the great part about this, is you can take turrets, and uh, it's, it's rather easy to take these turrets without really needing to worry about anything. So this is a really, really cool talent, and it's great for team fights, it's great for siege, it's just an amazing talent. Level 16, you're going to be taking Arc Reactor, lowers the cooldown of your stun, and allows it to create three little turrets um, next to where your stun was that do a decent amount of damage. You can see in a short burst, we do a thousand damage. That's a fifth of Gazlo's health off of just firing off a single ability. And then finally, level 20, there are two options at this level. Miniature Black Hole is my personal favorite, allows you to pull in more groups in team fights and have major plays. Where if you're more focused on getting one quick pick in a team fight in the competitive scene, bomb toss is much better because you get a second charge. Um, but I'm going to recommend Miniature Black Hole. So generally what you want to be doing in the early portions of the game is you want to be abusing the fact that you have a lot of bully potential and a lot of uh, potential for pushing. So you'll want to push, you want to get a lot of value off of attacking the enemy hero, getting them going, and then you might leave like one turret here to continue holding the lane where it is, while you can go and get an early, uh, an early camp and place down turrets to speed up their camp. Now these turrets are naturally going to um, pick the, the enemies. You can use your one to focus the turrets on something else, and you can simply just throw down your abilities, since your abilities don't cost mana, to speed up these camps. So early game, you are going to be double soaking and grabbing camps to the best of your ability. When you start reaching late game, uh, you're going to be trying to do your best to combo Gravel Bomb with your other abilities. So you'll want to throw your ult kind of in the middle of a few people, but remember that it has a slight delay. So you'll throw out your ult, and then you'll throw out your E and your W, and then your W again, and you'll be doing a huge amount of damage. 10,000 damage in a very short team fight is absolutely game changing. Um, and that's with the bigger Gravel Bomb. Naturally, the uh, the smaller Gravel Bomb, you might need to lead the shot a little bit more, or you might need to follow up the CC of your team first. But throwing your ult, then your E at the middle of your ult um, is the best way to handle this. Remember that your ult also increases the damage of your basic abilities. So you can throw out a turret, you can throw out an ult, then an E, and then another turret, and then a W, and another W, and you can see that your turrets are doing more damage for the first half of that. And you get up to like 30 13,000 damage with that combo. So the better you get at that, which I highly recommend going to your collection, going to Gazlo and clicking, clicking try mode to practice this combo a few times 
will really set your Gazlo apart. And that is the quick start guide for Gazlo, the cheapest bruiser out of the game and currently one of the stronger bruisers. He'll likely see a couple nerfs, but at the end of the day, it's not really going to be that big of a deal. Practicing Gazlo could really make a difference in so many games because of the amount of not only bully potential, double soak potential, um, camp potential, but also that team fight potential that he has is incredible. So the more you practice him, he can make a difference in almost any game. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my other videos, as well as the other quick start videos that are all on heroes that are about 2,000 gold, all hopefully around 10 minutes or less. I will see you guys later.